Hi, troops. Okay. I actually did, I'm going to show you what I saw. And I was a little disturbed, okay? You see how someone took a video of the shark, sand shark, shark and it was kind of like struggling? And this is just random on my Facebook. I'm scrolling. And, of course, me, okay, I'm like, I hope the shark was rescued, question mark, question mark, question mark, because instantly I was freaking disturbed. You show a video like that, right? Because me, I would have took the chance of getting bit, but that's me. Um, <clears throat> and she said, yep, it, it swam away. So I'm just kind of going to thumbs up and not really love it, because in all reality, you watch that thing just sit there and struggle, <laughs> and you videotaped it. So... I'm glad it made it back into the ocean, but um, that disturbed me, okay? I, I am having a good day. I got stuff to do today, um, but I wanted to come on, you know, real quick. Um, I will tell you, for my Patreon crew, I uploaded um, a half-hour random video on there for you today, okay? So that will be available. If it's not up right now, it will be shortly. So, I, I guess try to keep your shit together, um, because I almost just lost my shit. I, honestly, I understand it's a shock, guys, but to sit there and, and videotape it and, and hope that it makes it back into the water is uh, fucked up in my eyes, okay? I would have been on that shit real quick. Like, let's go. How many people on the fucking beach right now? 30 of you? Man up, woman up, help me get this baby back in the fucking water. Anywho, that's me. Um, I'm glad it's back in the water. So, I am going to just do a random read for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I'm okay. My en my energy is better now. I'm glad it made it back into the water. But that was literally, I saw that like a minute before I uh, decided to jump on with you guys to let you know that I had uploaded something on Patreon. So just be aware of your, your energy, okay? And someone might be in need for help that could be a symbolic thing too where somebody does need help and maybe you're aware of it maybe you're not or you're just kind of hoping somebody will push through maybe that's your message to you know reach out and just hey thinking about you super simple and that could help somebody tremendously okay so what's going on what's going on Situation, energy, what do you want us to know? Dun, 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 dun. What do we got? Ace of Swords, speak your truth, communication, honesty. I feel like you might have repeated a cycle here with someone. Four of coins. So you might be holding back. So, so it brings me back to the shock, too. It is clear as day that somebody is in the scenario, right? But it's also clear as day someone's holding back. So tricky. Tricky, tricky. Got the hangman and the three of coin, right? You got to change your perspective on how you're looking at something. Or sometimes you need, you need to sacrifice something. So the shark is is, is kind of symbolic, troops, because I would have sacrificed getting bit. I I mean, honestly, I really would have if there wouldn't have been teamwork. But that's that's just me, okay? Let me look at the symbolic meaning of a shark, because that's not a coincidence. Symbolic meaning of a shark. Okay. 
Okay, a shark stands for fearlessness. Okay, efficiency, perception, mystery, being prepared, competitiveness, grace, style, determination. All right, so it's also adaptability in having control over your emotions. Um, spiritually means it's all about observation or perception. Okay, and understanding. It's a clear signal for the fishes, letting them know that it's peaceful or it's looking for its next kill. The shack also symbolizes teaching about your journey. So it's it's very symbolic in, in what I saw and I felt to bring to your attention. And it's, it's kind of right here on my board. You know, um... Work together as a team, whether it's a friendship, a, a, a lover, um, work. I feel like it's, it's changing your perception more than a sacrifice. Um, but don't stop holding back if you're, if you're holding back. I don't think you need to hold back. It's, it's so clear. Speak the truth. Well, this is going on with, with someone with you, you know. Um, you know, so if you need to talk to somebody, you know, talk to somebody. Um, Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Best of advice for the Ace of Swords. It says yes. I'm just more afraid an opportunity could be missed, okay, with seeing the shark there. And, yeah, it went back. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm combining the story, but... Strength, you, you got to be fearless here in a situation. Yes, have the conversation. Yes, speak the truth. Stop holding back. Change the way you're looking at something. Tell me about the hangman. There needs to be more uh, team, team, teamwork. Look for a sign. So you're either seeing the signs or you're trying to find a sign, but... I think that shock was a, a good enough message for me. I don't know what I can place it with, but man, I, uh, you know, there, there is romance here. There is something here. Okay. Um, it could be as simple as you know, you come across a butterfly and, it, and it's struggling, like a wing got hurt, and you pick it up and you put it in the bush. And then you look up the meaning of a butterfly. Because I didn't think to look up the meaning of a shack until we started doing this. And if you ask me, this is, yeah, there, there's something here. You need to proceed. You need to be fierce. You need to, you know, speak if if something needs to be spoken or, or talked about. Um, what's this to be a point? To me, this is, you know, teamwork. Having each other's backs. Looking out for each other. The Eight of Swords wanted to make an appearance, so you're kind of like, I don't know what to do. But, you know, maybe you just need to see a sign or there's been one in the last couple days as, as simple as scrolling on social media okay then you got the queen of cups so the queen of cups is extremely loving and wears her heart on her sleeve she's she's lovable she's giving she's nurturing so it looks like you have someone here in your corner so stop stop trying to hold back I, I don't know what you're trying to tell me about the hangman it's like maybe someone's struggling to say something or you're struggling to say something 
you got the two of coins so it's it's finding that balance and there is a new opportunity here to to move forward leave the past behind so there has to have been some type of heartache some type of weight you know but this also says that something you know needs to be left in the past the chariot is the future it, it moves forward it's triumphant it's you can't fuck with me if you wanted to it's time to move forward um so they could be changing their perspective they could be seeing this and they need to know they need to be more of a team player or vice versa Okay, so you either have a conversation coming in or this message was for you to start conversating and and create some type of balance, whatever's going on with you or a friend or a lover or a child, you know, it's that type of energy. So it looks like communication is, is most definitely coming in. So I think it could be harsh. I don't know if it's harsh. I think this could be underlines where who knows where this communication is going to or back and forth from. This could be, hey, something to do with somebody's past and there, there's something new here. Okay. And is it a little painful and blunt? Maybe. Maybe it's more harder on you than it is the other person. You know, I guess it just depends on you guys' scenario. Under the deck looks great. Okay, so this is communication coming in between you or someone else. Um, I do feel like it's somehow linked to someone's fears or past. Something not moving forward or, or not being able to move forward quite yet. Because something needs to be talked about or discussed. You need to go through with it. It's, you're kind of torturing yourself. I, it drew me back to the shark, you know, just kind of struggling on the beach to get back into the water. But you can you can end this with open and honest communication that will then create some type of balance, possibly for you to even move forward with some type of new romance or situation. Because there's something new here. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's coming because this is a new opportunity. To me, it's like, look for a sign. You're already seeing them. Or this is your sign. Light workers deliver signs and messages. Okay. So, I do feel like that's some type of ending and, and new beginning. Um, or it's you guys communicating to talk about some type of new beginning. So... Um, Yeah, so you got, I was going to get one for this and this, and you got you got the sunglasses, right? So it, it's, it's like watching, gaslighting, perception, focusing out, like watching, but not, not taking action. And that's kind of like bullshit too, right? Because that's like the person that videoed the sand shack at the beach. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Did you even call for help? Like, I didn't even want to get into it, but you know where I'm going. And, and it's not even me where, being an animal lover. It's, it's this whole reading is, is very symbolic, okay? So instead of watching, okay, possibly, you know, being shady and, you know, you got to change your perspective here. Like, you got to tell somebody what's going on, whether it's this person or somebody else. Like, you just, you got to. You're too busy watching or hoping something will unfold. You know, um, it needs to be, <coughs> thank you, bless me, addressed. So what's this Ace of Cups? Because there's, there's new love, opportunity for new love, somebody coming back into your life, somebody who's nurturing, somebody who knows how to move forward. Looks like it can be extremely successful, but you can't have success with shady, shady shit or not. Maybe you think you're doing what you think is best, but it's definitely time to proceed and get something out into the open for sure. And you got cassette. All right. So conditioning, replaying, you know, events over and over in your head. So it's just you're struggling. Someone's struggling right now. 
not drowning. I don't see anybody like taking their life or anything like that because Shark could have died, right? But, and this is beach shit, you know? You got the radio, you got the chair. It's a big, big, big message for you guys. Um, life can be over like that. If you got something that's in front of you that's joyful and happy, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work you got to work on that, but you got to get past what needs to be. What what you're trying to overlook right now, does that make sense? Like, in order to move forward. Because it's it's like repetition. Even if you started something new with somebody, dating, whatever you're doing, working together, it, it's, it's repetitive. It's, it's, not, it's not getting anywhere. The feelings are there. The romance is there. You know something's there. But it's it's repetitive. It's not it's not going anywhere because either you're not speaking the truth or, or they're not. And and if it's not about the truth, it's you hold them back from telling somebody something. And if there was a third party, it, it's possible because the Queen of Swords was over here, right? So you um, not the Queen. Um, regardless, it was some type of Queen. So could be somebody that just needs to be cut out of the picture, because. It, you just it's a repetitive cycle even though it feels new and fresh nothing can move forward until the past is gone so if you're just sitting here thinking what do i do what do i do well meanwhile the shark is fucking drowning you don't have time like that like time time is short i'm not trying to rush a situation or a relationship but life is short there's always going to be struggles. To me, you see a way out, but yet you're not doing nothing about it yet. You know? So you got to be careful. You got to be careful here. What's up with this Queen of Cups? This can be any particular woman. She's just coming in as the Queen of Cups because that's the type of energy that's extremely nurturing, loving, productive, won't give up. You know, um, just... You know, that type of energy. And you got love call. Somebody expresses a love, a message of love, a thinking of you and, and letting you know. So you got, you do got somebody in the picture here. You know, that's for damn sure. That is that type of energy. You know, someone who I'm thinking about you. I love you. You know, like I said in the beginning of the read, be that person. Maybe you don't see someone drowning. I don't really see them drowning. I, I think they know what's going on. So if this is you, maybe you need to speak to this one and be like, hey, this is just going in, in, in circles. We can't do this. Like this is, you know, it's, it's that type of energy. Or you're finally ready to take the, the sunglasses off and chill out, play some freaking music, make some freaking phone calls, and enjoy life. Because you got a romance here. You got something positive. And the positive outcome of the situation, the shark didn't make it back into the water troops. Okay, so I am thankful for that. So, I love you guys. <laughs> and we'll talk soon. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.